Hey, I'm David, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw millwork shop drawings for kitchen cabinetry. Whether you're designing a kitchen from scratch or working with the supplier's catalog, your drawings need to communicate both the design intent and the technical detail clearly. I'll walk you through the process from planning the layout to drawing detailed elevations, adding sections, and finally creating a visual mood board to bring everything together. Through this tutorial, I'll be using Rayon Design the fastest tool to create perfect architectural drawings that are both accurate and stunning. Create a free account to follow along with me and use the template showcased in this tutorial link below. Now let's dive in. Every kitchen design starts with a key question. Are you using a fixed system by a brand or supplier? Or are you designing a custom kitchen? Start by aligning with your client on layout, style and functionality. Then loop in your carpenter or supplier early to agree on materials, hinges and construction details. It's also the right time to coordinate with your lighting and electrical plans so things like power sockets and under cabinet lighting don't get overlooked. Once these decisions are made, you're ready to get started. Let's begin with the top view using grid lines to lay out the footprint. Next, draw the front elevation to show how everything looks from eye level. Once your plans and elevations are done, add a few key sections to show critical construction details. Keep it clean and focused. Now I'll show you how to draw this bespoke kitchen from scratch. We're going to use a combination of line work and blocks from the Rayon library. But first we're going to start with guidelines. Guidelines will help me map out what's available in this kitchen space. So all I know about this kitchen is that it's 620 centimeters wide from wall to wall and I've put a guideline on the back wall. You'll see what I mean in a moment. Now to map out the rest of our kitchen, I'm going to use more guidelines. So if you go down to the bottom and click guideline or you can click simply use the shortcut G and you can choose whether you're placing a horizontal, vertical or a free uh, guideline and you can also toggle whether you're dropping one at a time or continuous ones. To show you what that means, if we're on continuous you can simply keep clicking and drop as many as you like without selecting the tool load again. I'm going to undo that though. And if you're on once, then you just click and drop one at a time and you have to click G again to drop your next one. Another way to do this, because I know the dimensions of what I want, is to simply select the guideline and go to the copy, which is also shortcut CC. So let's copy this and I know that the first tall unit is going to be 100 centimeters, so I can click, drag, type in 100 and there it is. And then I know that from the other side, I want a tall cabinet that's 80. These are sort of like the bookends of my design. Once again, you'll see what I mean later. And I know that from the back wall, a standard countertop is 65 centimeters deep. So I just type in 65. And I also know that the larger uh, the bookends that I talked about before, those will be 80 centimeters deep. So now we sort of have a, we have a guide to draw the kitchen. Now what we can do is add some more dimensions just to help us view everything. So using the dimension tool, we can dimension the countertop. We can also dimension the 80 centimeter depth of the cabinets. and we can dimension the 100 centimeters here and the 80 on the other end. And now we can also dimension the leftover in the middle, which is 440, which we can divide up later. That'll be part of our design. Now we're gonna use lines to simply block out the elements of our kitchen. So go down to the rectangle tool and you can just fill in the elements as they appear from plan view. So we'll put the one bookend there and the other bookend on the other end. And then we're going to make our countertop, which runs between the two bookends at a 65 centimeter depth. And then come to think of it, we're also going to need overhead shelves above the countertop. I think that would be nice and so what we're gonna do is duplicate this line and these are gonna be 33 centimeters deep I've checked these numbers before and 
and we'll draw another rectangle here. So these are the overhead cabinets. It's hard to tell what this represents right now because we haven't stylized anything. It's just a line drawing with dimensions. But I'll show you how to stylize it really quickly and then things will start to make sense. Now let's add blocks. You can import DWG or PDF files of your supplier's items for accuracy or draw blocks in Rayon. You can also use Rayon's block library and edit their blocks to match your needs. So let's head over to the block panel over here. And as you can see, you can search any of Rayon's uh, block libraries. You can type in things like fridge and you'll get a bunch of blocks of fridges and these fridges will have multiple views. If you go into the family, you can see the plan view, the elevation view, the side view, front view. You can create your own blocks and share them with your teams through custom block libraries, or you can simply browse the 4,000 blocks that Rayon has. What I'm gonna do now is go back to my blocks. These are the blocks that are already loaded into my project, which I've set up in advance. And here we have a refrigerator. This is the refrigerator we're gonna use. It's been specified on this project and I'm just gonna drop it in. And as you can see, it fits nicely in this, uh, this module I've created. So what I can do is simply drag it into this bookend that I've already drawn. And when we send it to the back layer, it's inside of the shelf. By dragging all of these blocks in first, you can make sure that you've drawn your drawing to scale and with proper space to accommodate for everything in your kitchen. Now let's fast forward a bit. I've dropped a few blocks in, so we have a sink and a stove and a dishwasher. And now we're gonna stylize the drawing so that these white spaces feel a bit more like what they actually are, which is cabinets and countertops. So let's start by selecting, let's start with the bookend and let's give it a color. So I have a color already chosen here and I'm gonna paste it in. And it looks quite dark, so let's bring the opacity down to 35%. And great, that's our cabinet color. And now that we've set up this cabinet color, what we can do is save it as a style. I'm gonna type in cabinet, press enter. And now I can apply that style to the other cabinets. Holding shift, I can select multiple and I can say replace all with cabinet. Next, let's do the countertop. So I'll select it and go to fill and let's give this one a texture to show exactly what it is. So you can, you can upload your own texture or you can pick from Rayon's library. I have already uploaded one here called Terrazzo. And as you can see, this is a texture. So it looks a little bit like a countertop. It's a nice way to represent it and help people understand your drawing. Once again, you can do the same thing. You can save this style. Countertop. And now the cool thing with styles is that if you select one of these and let's say you want to change it, you can go to the style and you can edit the style and everything using that style will change. Let's just go a little bit more orange and as you can see, everything changes. So you have great control over your drawing. I'm gonna undo that though because I like that color. Now let's move to the elevation view. I'll show you how to add some tiles. I've already drawn a rectangle where the tiles are gonna go. So here and above the shelf, two separate fills, but I've already assigned a style called tiles to them. So what I can do to easily make them look like tiles is edit this style, remove the fill and replace it with a hatch. And in Rayon, we have a square 600 by 300 that look like tiles. And they're a little bit big, so what I can do is transform them and scale them down. Maybe 0.25 looks pretty good. You can add a background. Now we have a stylized elevation drawing created entirely in Rayon. No importing or exporting between Photoshop or Illustrator. Everything is done here with full control. 
Using the same tools, we can create our sections. Here's a section I already drew using the exact same tools I've already outlined. Simply rectangles with styles and blocks from the Rayon library. Now to add one final touch to this drawing, let's show the back wall in sections so that the drawing makes sense. Once again, we head to the rectangle tool and we're going to go from the back of the kitchen and draw a wall that is eight centimeters thick. We'll deal with the height later. Let's drag the top to the top of our drawing and let's move it two centimeters away uh, so that there's a gap between the wall and our kitchen. And this wall is actually, it's a structural wall, so it will go down to structural floor. And then we can take this floor finish and pull it back. Now to show the materiality of the wall, we can simply go to the styles and I already have loaded into the project uh, concrete fill. For the second wall, I'm going to show you another method for drawing a wall, which is, of course, the wall tool. You can simply drag a wall. And what we're going to do is choose the thickness of the wall here on the right hand panel. So we can put in seven centimeters. We can choose the location line. So let's align it to the right. And you can change the stroke and the fill, but what we have right now is pretty good actually. We don't need to use styles because this is a simple wall. Let's simply align it with the existing wall and then move it one centimeter away. Now we can drag the bottom to the floor. Next, let's add some insulation. We're just gonna take the line tool and drag a line in the center of the wall. And what we can do is click on the line and change the line type. And what Rayon has is if you go into dash and if you go to the bottom, there is an insulation batting line type. You can also use the search bar and type in bat. And we can choose one of these and we can adjust its size. We can adjust its fill, let's make it a little bit gray. And of course, once you have something that you like, you can save it as a style. So we can say insulation, save it, and then we can use this anywhere in our project. Now the final step is to take the section break and duplicate it, rotate it, and we'll set it up at the top of the wall and bring, arrange it, bring it to the front. And when we pull up the second wall, now it looks like everything's being cut off properly just as it would be built and here's our section. To bring the design to life, add a visual mood board that shows the look and feel of the kitchen. Include material samples like the cabinet finish, countertop material and backsplash. Show the hardware style and add appliance references. You can also include mood photos of complete kitchens to communicate the style and ambiance you're aiming for. This is especially helpful if you're working with clients who might not read plans easily. It helps align expectations and get buy-in from everyone. In Rayon, you can drop images directly onto your layout page and use AI to upscale or remove their backgrounds. Here's how. Let's add an image to this mood board. So first we head over to Pinterest, we type in chair, we find one we like. You can simply copy any image from Pinterest now we can go back to Rayon and simply paste. And there it is. Let's scale it down. And we can put it on our mood board, but you can see it doesn't really fit very well because of the background. So let's just get rid of that. No Photoshop required, Rayon can handle all of this. Just go to Fill, Image, and there's an Edit button here. Now I have the option to use the AI editing tools, which include upscaling and removing the background. But for now, we're just gonna re remove the background. Simply click it and the AI should do all the rest. Awesome. Click done and 
there's our chair and we can put it anywhere on the mood board and the background is now transparent and the mood board is ready to go. Now let's turn everything into a presentation ready drawing set. As you can see I've drawn everything on the model canvas but for a presentation we want everything on the paper canvas so it's properly to the scale of the piece of paper. Let's make a paper canvas, we can call it paper canvas and let's create a page. So we're going to start with A4, which was auto automatically made. So now that we have a page, we need to put a view to the model canvas on it. Click the view button and drag a view window. And it automatically selects the model canvas because we only have one. If we had multiple, they would appear here. Uh, first, let's get, first, let's set the scale. So for these drawings, we want a 1 to 50 scale, which is a typical scale for millwork drawings. And then you can double click inside the window and simply pan over to your drawing to get everything you want in view. Click done. And the scale's still at 1 to 50. Looks good, you can move it around. And now we want to add a title block. So let's head to the block panel. So you can of course look through Rayon's libraries for title blocks. You can type in title. And there's a whole title block section and we just need to look for one that's A4 size. And drag it onto the canvas. And as you can see it's already scaled for an A4 because it knows how big it's supposed to be. And there's our page. So let's call this page Now that we've laid out our page, we can actually duplicate the whole thing using the copy button. And we can call this page section. And we can click in the view and simply pan over to capture all of our sections. Hit done. Now we have our presentation ready. Of course, normally we would update the information in the title block, but for this presentation, I'm just gonna show you how to export the presentation from here. First, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the Pages tab, and here you see all of your pages, and luckily they are in order, but if you wanted to change the order, simply drag and drop. But as a typical millwork package, we wanna start with the plans and elevation, then the sections, then the mood board. Now we can close the panel and simply click preview. Rayon will open the preview in a separate tab. And here's your millwork presentation, all three pages. When everything looks good, you can click publish. And now your project is ready to share with others. You can now copy the link and send it to anyone through an email or on Slack. Clients and collaborators can view it right in their browser and leave feedback directly on it. No more exporting zipping files, uploading to drives, or chasing revisions. Just one link and you're done. Or if you want to do it the old school way, you can go to menu and export the whole thing as a PDF. And it'll do all three pages, or you can even export each page one by one. And that's how you draw complete millwork shop drawings for kitchen cabinetry using Rayon. Everything in one place, drawing, annotation, imagery, and presentation, you can work faster and deliver a set that's both beautiful and buildable. If you'd like to give it a try, you can download the free kitchen cabinetry template linked below and create your own project in Rayon. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out our other tutorials and subscribe for more tips on drawing sets, details, and design workflows. That's all for now. See ya.